day. Can I have a word? You taking a piss? I've read fairy tales with more truth in than that. I might have missed uh, a few minor points. Not to mention throwing a few new ones in. That was two offenders. You can't expect me to take them both on. <laughs> what difference does it make? We're supposed to be part of the same team. You screw up, we all screw up. Okay, okay, so Rob Hollins doesn't get a gold star today. <sighs> Is that all you've got to worry about? Yeah. I do as hands. See, I counted at least eight bags of powder in my kitchen. Only seven have gone through the evidence. You were the exhibits officer. You say I'm bent. I'm just asking the questions. So is this out of dodgy police work? Or is something else going on here? What happens if I put it back? How could you be so stupid? This divorce is going to clean me out. I need something but to... what? You do a bit of dealing to keep your ex-wife sweet. Or you just fancy a, a new lifestyle with a bit on the side. I've got to offer Susie a better future. What? As a dealer? Okay, okay, so I wasn't thought out. I just did it. I didn't think anybody would notice. And it felt good. I got a rush. Just, a, just for a bit. Look, what if I redo the report, put the evidence back? No one, no one's going to know. How long have you known me? Oh, oh, come on, Rob, I'm a good cop. That was, call it a moment of madness. You're breaking the law. What, are you going to dump me in? You can't do that. Listen, if you want to walk out on a wife that really needs you, that's down to you. But when you put that uniform on, it means something. Just let's drop it, shall we? What, until the next time? When some kid gets a knife and he, and he gets to use it because you're too bored to be scared. Or when a load of gear hits the street because you're out chasing your rush. There's enough bank coppers on the street, Dino. I will not have another one. Understand? Of course, you've, uh, you've done this before, haven't you? D.I. Lewis lost a job because of you. You get the reputation as a whistleblower and no uniform's ever going to trust you again. So before you go and start squealing, you just think what you're doing. about this, Steve. I won't let that go to the inspector. Then be the big man then, and do the right thing. Of course you realise that no one in this station will ever trust you with any information again. Don't make me do this. Then let it go. Give me a chance of a life. What? We floozy Susie? We know the reason why to call her that, don't you? So it's all she's interested in is working her way through the ranks. She won't stop till she gets to the super. I've seen it a hundred times before. That's not what Susie wants. How do you know? You asked her? Well, no. Oh, come on, Dean. 
What do you think? She's going to hang about for, what, five years till you retire? Or just until somebody turns up with a bigger badge? No, hang on. Oh, get your head out of your pants, Dave. You're not interested in her. All you want is a change. There is another way out of this. Resign? <laughs> no way. Why not? Get a nice little job in security. Save for that little gastro pub that you've always wanted. Look. Do the right thing by the rain. Get out of here. Live a life. You might be safer for Leather Bridge if you did. No. I'd rather take my chances. Well, if you're sure, we better not keep the inspector waiting. <laughs> 